Fighting the Spanish-American War The actual fighting of the Spanish-American War, what then United States Ambassador to Great Britain John Hay called, quote, a splendid little war, end quote, lasted a little bit more than 10 weeks. In May 1898, the fighting began in the Pacific Ocean in the Philippine Islands, another area that the Spanish controlled. A quick naval victory at the Battle of Manila Bay put the United States in a position to take over the remainder of the Philippines, something that was complete by August of that year. Back in the Atlantic Ocean, a United States victory in Cuba was a little bit more difficult to come by, as the Spanish put up a solid defense early in the fighting. But Teddy Roosevelt and his Rough Riders from New York, with a great deal of help from Cuban revolutionaries, were eventually able to overcome the Spanish and win control of the island. A charge up San Juan Hill by the Rough Riders made a great deal of difference in the war. This victory in Cuba was backed up with a quick victory in Puerto Rico, and before anyone really knew what was happening, the war was over. The United States now had control over islands in both the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans that they would use to help their enormous naval fleet attempt to spread its influence around the world. United States Naval Officer and Historian Alfred Thayer Mahan believed that this was the best way for the United States to have a bigger worldwide impact. His book, The Influence of Sea Power on History, 1660 to 1783, had an enormous influence on naval strategic thought, not just in the United States, but also in Germany, Japan, and England. Each set of islands that the United States won in the Spanish-American War gained some degree of independence quickly. The one exception to that is Puerto Rico, which is still a territory of the United States, and all of its residents are United States citizens. Cuba gained its independence in 1902, although the United States made sure to add the Platt Amendment to the Cuban Constitution. This amendment stated that the United States could intervene in Cuba's internal affairs if it impacted the United States, and allowed the United States to, lead, to lease military bases on the island, including the naval base at Guantanamo Bay, where some number of suspected Al-Qaeda terrorists are being held while they await trial and or deportation. The Philippines gained their independence on July 4, 1946. Even though it had been promised to them sometime earlier, World War II prevented that from happening until then.